If you've been on Twitter, if you have or haven't, or however you want to look at that, Kanye West has been acting a plum fool. I don't care how you want to look at it, Kanye West is acting a plum fool on Twitter. And he's he's been saying the right things. He's been going about it the right way. Also, shout out to our Eric uh, Bader for the follow. Appreciate you. He's been saying the right things. He's been going about it the wrong way. What do you mean? Good question. So he's been talking about getting screwed by all of these big budget companies right now, right? And the issue with that is, is that technically speaking, Kanye West is considered a big budget company. Um, Kanye West is his name, but he's also the company. It, it, whatever Kanye touches, talks about, whatever, it sells. Yeezys sell. Kanye West tickets sell. Kanye West albums sell. Kanye West is a walking ten million dollars easily. Doesn't matter what they want to do. They'll give him. They'll write him ten million dollars because they'll make a hundred easily back off of his name alone. Kanye West knows this. Why is Kanye West complaining? Well, Kanye West is complaining because he is still stuck in his original contracts. Now, if you don't know anything about the music industry, contracts screw over most artists. Doesn't matter if you're a rock band or an artist or whatever. The issue is, is the types of contracts. To give you an example, majority of contracts allow you to earn 15% off of anything that you do. So let's just say you are an artist, you sign a contract for, I don't know, uh, $5 million, right? They're gonna give you that $5 million for you to live off on, right? But out of that 5 million, is you're supposed to you know purchase your album do your photo shoots uh, record everything get your features all of that falls under that fit all, all falls under that five million dollars right after that after they give you that five million dollars to go ahead and, and do whatever you need to do you're going to record your album and then they ship the album out to you out to the people and everything like that off of that album you're only going to make 15 percent of your um money off of that album so if they sell that album for ten dollars you're making a dollar fifty off of every album sold right because they have to recoup their money well they're going to recoup they may recoup their five million dollars but after that you're still only going to make 15 percent 1.5 you're going to make dollar fifty cent after every album so they may make 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars off of the album that you put off 5, 10, 15 years ago. That is the issue that Kanye West is coming down to, right? He's in that. He still, you know, people are still purchasing his music. He has his music was great back then. And he's still only making a dollar fifty off of songs that he put his, you know, blood, sweat, and tears in 15 years ago. That is an issue, right? That's the whole thing. That's the that's the big part. That's an issue. He's been complaining about it, right? The issue is, is that he also has a record label, Good Music, which he's in partnership with, which he's been doing these other contracts, which is, you know, he signed other artists. Big Sean is probably one of his bigger ones. Pusha T is an artist. Two Chains is under him. Designer, do you remember Designer? Designer is one of his artists. So good music, Tiana Taylor is another one. Good music is a very big conglomerate. Like they're a very big conglomerate. The issue is, is that he signed these artists to these bad deals. Who are one of these artists? Big Sean. And apparently he signed Big Sean to one of these bad deals. And on the Brilliant Idiots podcast, Charlemagne the God discussed how Kanye West owes Big Sean $3 million for this exact same thing, right? Here is the, the article, right? And in this article, they talk about how Kanye West has signed this, this crazy thing. Let me move my... I, you know, uh, that's the one thing about these little things, right? Like, because it's going to be stuff on the corner. Anyway, um, Kanye West um, has signed Big Sean 
to these types of deals, right? This deal that's, you know, it's a normal, traditional deal. The thing is about that is, is that Kanye West signed Good Music over to another company and they did a partnership deal where Kanye West makes money off of his artists and then the label makes money off of his artists. So for every artist that he signed, Kanye West makes money and the label makes money. Seems about right. The issue is, is the masters. The masters, which are your original song recordings that they always give people, that people always record. When I record a song, I own my masters. The second that I sign to a record label, they own the masters. So anytime that I play the song or put the song out or perform the song, they're gonna always make money. Kanye West owns that, their masters and the label owns their masters. Well, Kanye West is saying, well, hey, I'm gonna give all of my artists the 50% of their masters that I owe. That is great. Good job, congratulations, we need that. What's not so great is that the money that he profited until he decided this, because Big Sean's been on that label almost 10 years. Two Chains has probably been on that label for seven years. Tiana Taylor's probably been on that same label for six or seven years. Pusha T's been on that label six or seven years. So Big Sean not receiving the money, you know, there's basically saying that Kanye West owes Big Sean $3 million. And Charlamagne the God said that on the Brilliant Idiots podcast. $3 million is what he owes Big Sean. That means that Big Sean has made $6 million off of royalties, off of his masters. $6 million is a lot of money. If Big Sean himself is not making at least $6 million a year, that's how much money they're screwing out of him. That sucks, right? That sucks for a guy who's put his his hard work into this music, into this music industry. If I make an album and that album earns me $6 million and they they don't pay me that, they only pay me 900,000 because they own the masters and they split it, that's horrible. I don't know any other industry that does this. Charlamagne the God talks about how he, how Kanye, owes Big Sean $3 million. You're choosing to go to war with the labels, but you still owe your artists the back money. If you're gonna give them back their royalties, give them, you know, if you're gonna give them back their masters, give them back some of their, their royalties as well. You know, help, help out these artists. And I agree, plain and simple. Um, I've, I've said before that I don't necessarily wanna talk about the whole Kanye West thing, because I think all of this is a ploy. I don't know what that ploy is. You know, um, maybe it's to make his artists sell more music or maybe to get him out of debt because he's put a lot of money behind his designing and fashion. Um, it's really unfortunate. I don't really talk about him a lot, but I just thought this was interesting that somebody like Charlemagne the God, who's a radio personality, knew about this. Kanye West, hopefully he he does the right thing. And I do, I, you know, I do think he's going to do the right thing at the end of the day, because it does seem as if he's finally saying, oh, you know what? I'm wrong. I'm the one who did the wrong stuff and I'm going to fix it and everything like that. And that's great. I, I'm so thankful that he realized that, okay, you're wrong. You're going to do the right thing and you're going to give your artists back you know, their masters. While you're doing that, I am hoping that you also give back your artists the royalties or at least a portion of them or find out a way to work that out because you ate off of that. You did. And it's great that you figured out that you signed a bad deal for your artists. Make it right. If you don't want to give them back their money, start booking them gigs. Put them, put them in these stadiums again. Like put them out there. Make sure that they're eating so that there's no more issues because they need that. It's just that simple, man. So, I don't know, man. Kanye, figure that out, but stop screwing over your artist. DJ Jack on